Nothing says Labor Day like firing up the grill and making some delicious ribs, and we have a good recipe for you from the pros. We have Michael Zabel from Longhorse Steakhouse here to give us some tips of that. That's a lot to say in, in, in the morning time. But, you are uh, kidding, absolutely. It's like, man, man, but the, the ribs is what everybody wants to see anyway. Exactly. So. We're really excited. We're actually launching this brand new menu today. We okay. do this about every six to eight weeks. Um, we really wanted to feature some of the really great flavors of fall. And so, going into that, we're going to take our baby back ribs and we're going to change it up. We're going to put a signature sauce on them made with apple cider uh, ale as well as some apple cider, or excuse me, apple pucker, which is an uh, apple liqueur. Okay. Uh, and we're just going to kind of show you how we actually go through this. And apples are so seasonal when it comes to fall, and right now everyone's looking for the perfect recipe to put on the grill for Labor Day. So exactly. You say you got them covered. We got them covered. I'm okay, show you how we do it. Let's get started here. I know um, the guys over at a Longhorn, they know a thing or two about ribs. Oh, yeah, so. absolutely. We, uh, are definitely excited to show this one off. And our grill masters at our restaurant are trying this out today and really featuring it so that we can. And I'm sorry for guests. making you labor on Labor Day. Oh, but it's hey, all right. I mean, <laughs> if you're making ribs, then it's not quite so much a it's a labor of love, right? Exactly, exactly. <laughs> so we're going to start off with our ribs. You really want to get a good quality rib, and we're going to cut it right down the middle here so that it'll fit into our pan. Okay. And we're going to use our signature rub here. This is our Longhorn rub. However, you can get the same exact, uh, or well, pretty close, I would say, <laughs> using salt, ground, uh, onion powder, garlic okay. powder, and pepper. Okay. okay. And you got to go pretty vigorous. You don't want to be shy with this whatsoever. <laughs> All right. And then on this side, we're going to okay, do the same so thing. Make sure you get both sides pretty well there. Exactly. Okay. And then you got to take your pan. You can use a hotel pan. You can use any kind of pan you really want to. You whatever just want to make pan sure. you have. Whatever, as long as it has a little lip on the outside of okay. it. Okay. You're going to take it meat down. You're going to put these ribs inside this pan. And then you're going to take either, you can use water, but we're going to use a little something to kick it up. We're going to use our apple cider uh, apple ale, which is made by Angry Orchard. We're going to add that into there. Which is going to, I'm sure, going to give it a really, really great flavor. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then you've got to cover it with foil. And you really want to make sure that you don't just put it on top and leave it. You want to try and make this thing as airtight as possible. Okay. Keep um, all that flavor in there. Exactly. It, you know. Well, what's going to happen is all that liquid is going to get hot and it's going to begin to steam and mm. braise those ribs. And if you don't keep that liquid in there, that steam, it's just going to escape into the oven and you're going to have burnt, uh, really tough ribs instead of really great and ribs. Nobody has time for that. You don't want to exactly. be that person that burns the ribs. I mean, you're never going to be. Uh, no one's ever going to come to your party ever again if that if that happens. Exactly. <laughs> you're going to take and put it into a 325 degree oven. Okay. You're going to cook them for about two and a half to three hours until they at least fall off the bone tender. And the way to do that, take the bone, just kind of wiggle it a little bit. And if it will come out of those ribs, then it's good to go. If it's not, cover it back up, put it back in, and finish it off. That okay. Way. Okay. Okay. Now we have actually. And now with television magic, television watches magic. What, watches what's going to happen right here. Exactly. And voila. He we can have pull one that we'd already made. <laughs> We'll take them over here. And these ribs have already been cooked and they are fall off the bone tender. And you can kind of see that. I don't know if you can look and see how that meat is actually separating from those bones. Oh, yeah, that is fall it. off the fall bone off tender. My, my nasty hands oh, absolutely. There, but. So, but we're going to go ahead and change our gloves because we don't want to serve food and that's now not it's safe. all about the sauce. Exactly. All about that sauce. Well, we're going to bring it up. We actually cooled these off. Then you can cook them in advance, and that way you're not having to rush through it. Or um, oftentimes, when they are so fall off the bone, mm -hmm. they will kind of crumble if you don't, you know, give them some time to rest. Let let, let them rest a little bit. So we're going to take these ribs and we're going to put them bone side down onto our hot griddle. Okay. Excuse me. We actually should make sure that we rub this down with some oil so that they don't stick. Very nice. All right. Bone side down. Bone side down. You're going to cook them for about three minutes, okay? And while those are cooking, we're going to go ahead and make our signature sauce. Now, okay, you can take your, any kind of sauce you really want to. Uh, this is our Longhorn Signature Base Sauce. We're going to put it into our mixing bowl here. Looks like a really simple recipe. Pretty for simple. The sauce. And you, you can use any crazy. Exactly. You can use any sauce that you want to. And now, to kick it up, we're going to take our, once again, Angry, uh, angry Orchard Apple Ale. Which is really good, by the way. I have some oh, yeah, at home right now. You're going to take our apple pucker. I, ne I never heard of um, apple pucker before. It's, it's just basically apple liqueur, okay. so that's what they call it. But um, we're going to take a little bit of cinnamon. It put smells in like there. fall in there. Like when, you, <laughs> <laughs> when you put them all in there, it smells like it. And we're going to take a little bit of garlic, a little bit of onion, and a little olive oil. We're going to mix that in there as well. Okay. You want to give that a good stir and make sure that you incorporate all that smells so good. Oh, yeah. And I'm all about sauce. The meat can be, you know, cooked to perfection, but if the sauce doesn't, you know, give you that lasting impression, you're going to be like, oh, exactly. oh, so much. So, 
Now, while these are still cooking, because it's only been about a minute, we're going to go ahead and baste them with our sauce. And see, Is there any soft, uh, uh, sauce applying technique that we should be aware, aware of? Vigorous, that's for sure. You <laughs> want to put a lot on there. And what's going to happen is, even though we put the apple flavoring into this, you're not going to really tell until you cook them that there's a lot of apple in it. Mm -hmm. What happens is the apple, uh, the sugar that comes from the cider will start to caramelize. Okay. And you'll really, really get to taste it after that. So, you know, it smells it good. It smells like heaven in here. Rib heaven. Exactly. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Those All right. Great. Hopefully, if you guys are cooking some ribs at home today, this recipe is maybe giving you a little some ideas. Exactly. And of course, exactly. you can always visit our friends at Longhorn Steakhouse. We'd love to see you in. We'll be there all day today. Greenville, so. Spartanburg, Asheville, Easley, and Anderson. Anderson. Easley. Absolutely. LonghornSteakhouse.com has all the information. Oh of yeah. That. And, and just um, to kind of show you what they look like, this is what they are after they've been finished. You get a lot of beautiful grill marks on them. And uh, if you're not a big fan of ribs, you're welcome to come in and try one of our new Blue Ridge Wedge salads. Uh, romaine hearts, bacon, blue a cheese. burger over there. Bl uh, black and blue burger, exactly. Blue cheese and our signature seven pepper seasoning. Or uh, one of my favorites actually is this uh, chicken strawberry salad or the strawberry salad. Either way, uh, feta cheese, oranges, grapes, strawberries, Perfect. pecans. Beautiful awesome. salad. Thank you so much for coming in and cooking with us on Labor Day. And uh, okay. hopefully we'll see you soon. Jamarcus, thank, thank you very you. much. I appreciate, appreciate it. it.